Hi everyone. Good morning. Lori Marie here, mixed media artist in Vallejo, California. Oh my goodness, I uh, crawled out of bed this morning and I am playing in my pajamas and I went off and had coffee with Patricia in my pajamas. So yes, it is International Pajama Day today. I've been able to play with a couple of projects on the table today, so that's really, really been fun. So I don't have too much more to say. Uh, I want to say thank you to everyone that is supporting me via YouTube, via Patreon, via Amazon links. Um, you're making this all possible. So the first thing that we're going to play with is uh, a dragon made of eggshells. So we will go forward with that. See on the table. So this is our project for today. I am still doodling and will continue doodling for quite some time actually. But this was an eggshell project, a dragon. Stop doodling, Lori Marie. Okay. So this is citrus solve paper for the background. Um, eggshells. I actually built him on a separate piece of paper and then glued him down. These are pieces of black construction paper for his nails and his horns, glue dots, uh, gold foil, transfer foil, which is really, really fun. Um, I put an eye in here. I used my X-Acto blade. Lots of eggshells. Oh, um, some Lumiere paints, um, a purple, and then a green. Now I'm going from memory, so I can't remember for sure, but we'll talk about it as we go through. So I used a couple of uh, background colors, some gold foil, just smatterings on his body, and Stabilo. And now I'm going to doodle and just have some fun with that. So. Good morning all. So I have my uh, altered book in front of me. These, this is a two page spread where I pulled off whatever I had here. So I have underpants down here, and then when I pulled everything off, it just left a layer of the underpants. So I'm going to go ahead and use that. Uh, I'm just going to work on one page, though. So uh, this is a palette knife that Rosemary sent me. Thank you. I'm going to use that smaller palette knife with my texture paste. This is a dragon that I drew uh, that I'm going to put on the page. These are Citrusolve pages. Uh, there is a video on how to create those. We're going to use those for a background. And we're going to use our uh, eggshells, which will be fun today. So we'll start off by putting um, the Citrus Solve underpants on this with Mod Podge and our baby blue brush. And I just kind of have the book um, kind of perched up a little bit and clipped with a clip here to keep it open. So we got lots going on. So let's start putting our underpants on. And I'm just going to start at the top with some Mod Podge. If you don't have citrus solve pages and you don't want to make citrus solve pages, just use what you have. Maybe just some plain underpants or maybe some magazine pages. Doesn't matter. Just get in there and build your background.
Now the Citrus Solve pages will tend to wrinkle, especially if there's something underneath that may have had some wrinkles on it. I am way okay with that. I like the texture. So we are going to leave it just like that. Now I'm going to bring in my dragon and I'm going to tear him out. I have taken, a, I believe it's a dictionary page, and I have um, drawn the dragon on the dictionary page. Of course, I'll save that for underpants, right? So I'm just going to put some texture paste on his body and start putting some text, uh, some eggshells on that. So we'll just start at this little tail. I want enough texture paste that those eggshells are going to stick, of course, and kind of make a mosaic. And just start building your dragon. I'm just going to continue around the dragon with the texture paste and the shells. So just go for it. I'm going to cut out where his eye is and also his nostril. And then I'm going to get back to shelling him. To it. So my intention is to leave his little toenails out, but of course we shall see what he has in mind. Well, there he is. Isn't he glorious? Oh, okay. Let's put the texture paste away. Bring out the Mod Podge. And we're just going to put a coat of Mod Podge on him. Make sure all those shells are stuck well. We might pick a few up in this process, but that's okay. We want to make sure they're all stuck down. All right, let's let that dry. I'm bringing in Lumiere. This is Halo Violet Gold. Not The Mod Podge is not quite dry, but it is time for 
Hudson's second walk for the day. So I want to get this painted so I can take him for a walk and then our first layer will be drying. This is the pearlescent emerald. I'm grabbing my spray adhesive. This is a tacky spray. I'm just kind of spritzing it a little bit. Okay, so here's our dragon. He needs an eye. Here's a calendar. Look at this great parrot eye. We'll cut it down, of course. But look at that. That's pretty darn good. All right, we will use that eye. Okay, handsome hubby's awake. Going through all of this with my stabilo and smudging. Really like how that's going because I've been fighting with how this should look. And I am getting happier by the minute. Leave it to a stabilo to bring happiness to the world. horns. That we shall see about. I'm going to glue the eye in. I 
Oh, Hudson's going to come join us. Goody, goody, goody. I'm still fussing with these horns. This is just some uh, black paper that I've cut into some horn shapes. All right, I'm going to, these are going to work. Those are kind of fun. And what I need to do now is go around here and clean up all that paper. I didn't know if I was going to leave it or not. I am not going to leave it. So I'm going to bring in my X-Acto and just go around that dragon. Some of the uh, old book text will show, but a lot of it's going to be removed. Clean it up a little bit. And this nose piece doesn't do anything for me either. So off with your nostril. I think we need to do something about his toenails down here. Make those a little bit more, a little stronger down there. Okay, I just cut out some triangle shapes for his toes. And his fun um, horns have been cut. They're kind of ragged. I'm okay with that. Let's Mod Podge those onto our dragon. Mod Podge his little horns on. Okay. Let's bring the book back in. get my tacky glue and glue him down to our book. Then I'm going to grab my bag of quinoa, put that on him, and let him dry. Okay, let's take the quinoa off. There's our lovely, lovely dragon. So fun. So, let's see what's next. So I'm going to go around our beautiful dragon with some Stabilo. So I'm going to go around the dragon and the edges of the pages with my Stabilo. Do what you need to around that. You guys know I'm a spit and smudge kind of girl.
All right, I'm going to have fun with these horns up here. I'm dragging in some glue dots. Just randomly placing some dots. Bring in my gold foil. Thank you, Renee Marie, for this. Lovely. <laughs> that is pretty cool. And this seems like the perfect page to doodle on. And just have some fun doodling. We will revisit this when we go through this whole book together. This was very fun. Thank you for playing. Go create, go play, go have fun. <laughs>